Yuskawa has the highest function digital interfaces to major power source brands. We have designed the interfaces to allow users to access setup and manage higher level process information from the robot teach pendant. This is in addition to the meat and potatoes weld control functions used to perform welds in the robot program. The Universal WeldCom interface, or UWI, is a new weld interface platform for the YRC1000 controller. Let's look at programming with a Lincoln PowerWave using the Universal WeldCom interface, or UWI. Weld job looks the same as any other. When I hit direct open, You'll notice that it prompts me to specify a process. I can go in there and pick a process. When I do that, the file populates, generates data using the process. Yeah, in this case, it's using process number one or CV. You can see here, the arc on file that the units displayed wire feed speed bolts pinch these are the Lincoln units Lincoln terminology you can see the range highlight there with the actual units so I can update this want to see details related to this setting I have the help screen there which tells me the parameters the control the range and where I am in the arc start sequence in this case these are main conditions I want to use a start condition to build up a puddle before welding you can do that by simply picking start condition and enabling that you can see here I can have a pause time after strike. I can slope parameters. I can slope over a distance or just the dwell time. And I can specify different settings if I want a user cooler start setting or even a hotter setting. Here it shows where I am in the sequence showing the start and then I have the option of doing either time or distance setting. I come up here and simply disable this. You can see that adjust. But let's look at a little bit more about what is this process selection. This is new on the universal interface. I come here and select process selection menu. I have 16 positions here that I can specify a process. You can see one through three are already populated and two and three actually happen to be the same. These are Lincoln processes that come out of the library in the welder. And the reference number, the 21, the 22, are Lincoln terminology and mean something to them. If I hit select, you can see here's the library of the processes. I can refine the selection for things more suitable to my application. Let's say I'm using 045 and steel. You can see in the library, here's the half a dozen programs that I might use. So let's say I want rapid arc. You can see it populate up at the top of the screen. Let's hit enter. And now I've entered that into process number four. If I go to go out of the main menu, it asked me if I would like to save those changes. I'm going to say yes. Now here we are in this uh, start file number seven. We started to program. And uh, in this case, 
Look at some of the other options that we have. You can enable the arc retry function to try and restart the arc if you don't get that at the start. Restart if it goes out during a weld. Arc monitoring zone is how close you come to the program point to start. Welder path correction. Uh, this will enable, you can enter things to offset this, this is global, to shift the parameter. And again, you want details on what these settings do. Use your help screen. And again, this says, hey, according to the shift, it will offset the weld for all the arc on instructions and points in between that use this file does not necessarily require a shift on instruction. So this is good for bumping points that might vary based on stamping variation. A new function with the UWI interface is dual pulse mode. This lets you specify a alternate file to give you a high low setting and you can specify this condition for the low you can adjust the time be 50 50 or bias it so you have more time and uh, low pulse versus high pulse this is very advantageous for aluminum to give you cosmetics with a ripple beat tig like cosmetics Let's look at the arc off instruction. Arc off is similar. You specify a process. It can be different or the same. If you specify that, it updates the settings. We have crater time, which lets you pause, typically with a reduced setting to fill the puddle or crater. Then we have finish conditions. You can turn this on. Uh, the Lincoln in particular, there's no logic to end the weld. So this is effective to set a burn back condition where you want to reduce the wire feed speed and keep some voltage on it to help finish the wire condition. Again, that's illustrated here. Crater condition and then the finish. Other options you have are position zone, which is how close you come to the program point to execute the arc off, similar to position levels for normal programming. Wire stick check, if you want to check at the end of the weld. Here the help screen illustrates what and how the sequence is done at the end. One of the issues, as you see, I'm in here changing and modifying things, so I'm welding. One of the concerns of people is security level, and how can you prevent that? See, I'm in the management security mode now. I would go change my security level, go to the operation mode, come back to the job. I can display the same settings, but you can see the parameters are grayed out. I can't change them. And in fact, you see the icon in the lower left that says no changes are permitted in this operation level. We've had customer feedback that says they like that feature, keeping people from jacking with weld settings. New for the Universal Weld interface is the ability to use inline arc on commands with tags. So if I come over here to my arc on instruction, file number seven, I can specify I want custom. 
Now, if you look, it says, hey, I'm using process number one, which was MIG. You can see here the units are reflected for the MIG process. I can come over here and identify I want another process. Rapid arc was four. And note that the units change. So I can go in and enter a wire feed speed. Specify a trim of one. That's the default. If I want to change it, I can. If I don't want to use a program uh, a value like Ultima Arc, I can skip it. When I hit enter, see here's additional settings for the arc on instruction. I can come down here and add a dwell time at the start by desire. You can enter a speed in there. We have a parameter that will dictate whether the program speed is priority or the setting in the weld condition is priority. And so I can elect if I want to retry if I miss my arc start. When I simply key this in and hit enter, it updates the instruction with an inline command. I have a similar option with the arc off command. You can specify a different process. Pinch. And if I hit enter at this stage, I have this custom, I can add other things. I want to go back. Here's my original settings. There's the custom. I want a timer at the end. I can specify that. Now I have inline instructions. UWI's Dual Pulse can provide TIG like cosmetics on steel, but is more pronounced on aluminum. Nice. Is that all you got? No. UWI integration allows the use of a standard function called Graphic Arc Monitor. Graphic Arc Monitor is simply a display that shows a multiple of parameters like your speed, your weld feedback settings, as well as torch angles, travel angles, things like that. If we start this and begin to weld, we have a uh, dual pulse set up. You can see the welding values with the pulsing current and voltage are highlighted on the graphic arc monitor display. This is not setting limits, but is a nicer display. You would like it to save it to a USB device, you can do that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Let's close that. Let's go to arc welding. Let's look at other features used with the UWI. One is Lincoln Setup. The UWI is designed to use Ethernet connections, digital connections. This utility is set up to make it easier to network and search with the welders. So here, in this case, we have multiple welders. This easily goes out and finds the IP address of the welder and lets you assign it to which particular robot. Robot 1 would use welder 1. You also can specify which of the wire feeders you have, and that's used inside the Lincoln software. 
Here you can also set whether you want English or metric units. Another function we've added with the UWI to aid in troubleshooting the Ethernet work, network is a logging function. This gives detail commands between the robot and the welder and also notes changes as you change the process files and update those. This is helpful for people like me that were raised with bolt ohm meters and have difficulty troubleshooting when things go wrong. By using this network you can see the commands and that can be also exported so it will aid in diagnostics that can be emailed. Weaving. New on the YRC is a standard function. Is elliptical.